A very warm welcome to the learning home. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss how to track changes in Microsoft Word and how to accept and reject changes. Uh, so before I start the discussion, I'd like to bring to your notice that I'm using Microsoft 365, which is the latest version as of now. And if you are using a different version of Microsoft Office, probably you may see a little difference in appearance. So let's get started. First point is what is this feature is uh, this helps you to track the changes in Microsoft Word the changes could be like uh, uh, insertion deletion comments and change in formats so it helps us what all the changes we have done uh, while working and we can accept and reject based on our preference so the second point is where we can find this feature we can find it in the we will go to the uh, tab ribbon and we will see a review option here and we will find in the center there is a group called tracking and this track changes is here uh, we can activate it by by clicking this track changes or we can use the shortcut control shift plus e we can use this control shift plus e to enable it and if it is enabled if we press control shift plus e it will disable it so this feature can be used for enabling and disabling the feature so before I move to the examples, I will show you four changes first and then we will I will show you how to accept and reject. So I'm going to enable it first. You will see this is highlighted, this is enabled. So I'm going to do the first changes that is insert and I'm going to add some kind of more text here. And you will see when I'm adding a text here, there is a line here and it is becoming new changes is becoming red uh, then I'm going to delete some text that is the deletion you will see this is uh, uh, striked off and then I'm going to change the format the size is the same putting 26 and when we put it here you will see another box appear on the right hand side I'm going to add a comment here as well and for the comment again I have to go to the review and use this comment group and you may have seen that we have added a comment here so the, these all four changes we have already marked you can see the differences here where the changes are where changes are made you will see a line on the left hand side there's three area and the different appearance so that is all about the changes and now we will move to accepting and rejecting the changes so accepting and rejecting the changes can be done in the change group so you will see in the change group there are four options first is that previous text that you can just navigate from one changes to another by clicking it you can use next by clicking and moving from one changes to another so here is the uh, accept tab and if you want to accept changes there are multiple options first is that uh, one by one acceptance if you want to just have a look whether you want to accept it or reject it you can go one by one so that is this feature is all about accept and move to the next and i'm going to accept and move to the next so you will see we have accepted this size and the changes tracker is removed from here so similarly we can accept all changes and stop tracking or accept all changes but keep keep tracking that is the two option so here i'm going to do accept all changes and stop tracking so you will see we have accepted all changes but the comment part you have to it can't go away from here so you have to delete it from here so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back and show you the reject option so this is how we have started again here same thing we have option to reject and move to the next when we reject it it has gone to the original uh, text size where we have started and what we can do we can reject all changes and stop tracking or reject all changes but keep tracking so here i'm going to reject all changes and stop tracking and you will see we have rejected all changes and it came back to the original text similar like here and uh, that is how we have started but the comment you have to go and delete it once again so uh, sorry I did a mistake to go and delete it from here so that is all for this discussion and hope it has given you a little bit insight or a little bit uh, knowledge about the tracking option in 
Microsoft Word. How you have found the video, please do write in the comment section. And if you have liked it, please do like and share. For more videos, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos. With this, I will say goodbye and see you soon.